So if you're not following BNR Homestead, go over, start following him. He's got a 14 part chicken series. And this one was about the brooder. So I headed out to a Home Depot to get the tote for my brooder along with the other supplies. So after I found the tote, I went over to the electrical section to get the lamps. And I couldn't really decide on which lamps. So I got the open grill brooder light and then I got another one that has like a little disc shape silver disc shape thingy both of them had the clamp so once I got those in my buggy then I headed over to the zip ties so instead of getting a small pack of zip ties I went ahead and got the big pack so I don't have to worry about ever needing them again and then from there I headed over to the heat lamps and did a quick wattage check to make sure those were going to work with my lamps and then outside to the garden center to get some hardware cloth. I needed some of this anyway for the high tunnel. Okay, I spent about $160, but that was some extra stuff. The brooder materials, I would say probably came to about 50 bucks altogether and I got extra lamps and I'm actually going to end up taking those back at the end of the video because I realized that I needed to get the um the brooder warming plate and that was safer. So those are the zip ties that I got, and I got a couple of rolls of hardware cloth. Again, this was all extra, so that's why my cost was a little bit higher. And so now, all right, so now it's time to cut out the centerpiece of the top, and we're going to ultimately replace it with the hardware cloth. But before we do that, we've got to cut some holes in the lid so that we can attach the hardware cloth with using the zip ties. Once all the holes were in the lid, then we just laid out the hardware cloth underneath so that we could start to attach it. And we figured out real quick that we didn't want to have to trim four sides, so we got it lined up better. So we only had to end up trimming two sides and got it all done. So now we have our brooder box ready for our chicks and tractor supply is out. We went up there today to see if we could get them today, but they're out. So we'll go up there next week and get the chicks and we'll get the warmer plate, the brooder plate, as well as the feeder and the pine shavings and anything else.